Welcome to Zero to Pro Training .com. In this series of videos, we are discussing artifacts used in Scrum project. Following are the artifacts involved in a Scrum project: product backlog, sprint backlog, product increment, sprint burndown chart, and release burndown chart. In this video. We will talk about product backlog. The sprint backlog is the list of work the development team must address during the next sprint. The list is derived by the scrum team. Selecting product backlog items from the top of the product backlog until the development team feels it has enough work to fill the sprint. This is done by the development team asking, can we also do this? and adding product backlog items to the sprint backlog. The development team should keep in mind its past performance, assessing its capacity for the new sprint, and use this as a guideline of how much effort they can complete. The product backlog items may be broken down into tasks by the development team. Tasks on the sprint backlog are never assigned. Rather, tasks are signed up for by the team members as needed according to the said priority and the development team member skills. This promotes self-organization of the development team and developer buy-in. The sprint backlog is the property of the development team. And all included estimates are provided by the development team. Often, an accompanying task board is used to see and change the state of the tasks of the current sprint. Like, to do, in progress, and done. Once a sprint backlog is committed, no additional work can be added to the sprint backlog, except by the team. Once a sprint has been delivered, the product backlog is analyzed and reprioritized, if necessary. And, the next set of functionality is selected for the next sprint. Thank you for watching. For more videos, please visit zero to protraining.com.